This video is for anyone who has been charged with a minor criminal offence or a traffic offence and has to appear in the Magistrates Court in Queensland. The video will help you prepare for your court appearance and help you understand what you will actually have to do when you appear in the court. If you fail to show up at your first court appearance, the Magistrate may issue a warrant for your arrest and it's likely that the police will be knocking on your door. In that case, they may issue you with a further offence of failing to appear. You may receive either a notice to appear or a summons. These are two separate documents which tell you about your obligations to appear in court. If there is a really serious reason why you cannot attend on your first court date, it's very important that you make early arrangements with a lawyer so that the matter can be adjourned to a date that suits you. It's also important that on your first court date, you take with you all of the paperwork that you have. It's also a very good idea to have with you two or three character references. References are generally provided by people that know you well. They need to acknowledge that you're pleading guilty to the specific charge, but more importantly, they can talk about your education, your employment history, your family environment, and your future plans. The police version of events is contained in a document called the QP9. You should try and get a copy of the QP9 so that you know what the police will say if you decide to plead guilty and are sentenced. The QP9 can be obtained by contacting police prosecutions. It can sometimes take time for them to send this out to you in the mail, so it's important that you contact them early so that you're prepared for your first court appearance. You can access free services through contacting either Legal Aid Queensland or a Community Legal Centre. To find a Community Legal Centre near you, you should visit the Quails website. Wondering about what kind of sentence you might receive can be a big source of stress. For many people who are going to the court for the first time for a less serious criminal offence, the likely sentence to be imposed can include either a fine, community service, a probation order or just a good behaviour bond. Plan to get there early and make sure you have your paperwork with you. Dress neatly in conservative business style clothing and cover up any tattoos. It will work in your favour to show that you respect the judicial system. If you have been charged with a traffic matter, you may lose your licence. Don't drive yourself to court. You should bring your licence because you may have to surrender it. When you go to the courthouse, you will go through security. Your bags will be searched and you will have to go through a metal detector. You can find out where to go by looking at the court list. Charges won't be dealt with in the order that they appear on the list. If you have any questions, go to the main desk known as the registry and talk to someone. Some courts, especially the bigger ones, have additional services. The drug diversion program is very helpful for persons appearing in court on a drug possession charge. If you arrive at court without having seen a lawyer, then many people will have the option of using the duty lawyer on the day of their appearance. The duty lawyer is a free lawyer who will represent you and present your side of the story to the magistrate. The other option is to represent yourself, which means that you have to speak personally to the magistrate. If this is what you intend to do, you need to tell the police prosecutor. You can go ahead and enter the courtroom. Just make sure you bow your head when entering if the magistrate is present. Your name will be called when it's your turn. You will sit at the table at the front next to the duty lawyer or on your own if you are self-representing. Stand up when the magistrate talks to you and when you speak. When you speak to the magistrate, you should always call him or her your honour. The court considers you innocent until proven guilty beyond any reasonable doubt. It is important that you keep this in mind when deciding whether to plead guilty or not guilty. If you are at all unsure, you should ask for an adjournment so that you can get more legal advice. Don't feel pressure to plead guilty. On your first appearance, you can ask for an adjournment to get more time to seek legal advice and consider your position. Generally, one adjournment of two to three weeks is considered reasonable and the Magistrate will require you to return to the same court on the next date. 
You should obtain advice from your lawyer to work out whether you have a defence. On your first appearance in the Magistrate's Court, you will plead not guilty after the Magistrate has read out your charge. The Magistrate will then set a new date for you to come back to court. If you admit guilt to the charge, the Magistrate will determine your sentence. First, the police give their version of events and then you or your lawyer will give yours. If you are charged in circumstances that you don't usually find yourself in, such as being under the influence of alcohol or following difficult personal circumstances, such as a relationship breakdown, it can be relevant to mention this. You should also ask the court to not record a conviction against you, as having a conviction recorded can affect your ability to travel, your job and other employment opportunities. If you agree that you are guilty but have a different version of what happened to the police, then you should ask for an adjournment. Once a guilty plea has been entered, it is very difficult to withdraw it. After your matter has concluded, don't just go ahead and leave the courthouse. There is often paperwork for you to sign at the registry. If you're at all unsure about whether you need to sign paperwork, you should check. Once you've signed your paperwork, you're free to go. Thank you.